Three New Zealand Fringe Awards, including Best Musical and Best Comedy, Jingles the Musical will transport audiences into the very best of New Zealand ad land for a hilarious night of flashbacks and toe-tapping chuckles. I love that, toe-tapping chuckles. <laughs> Tell us more about the show, please. Welcome to the Cafe of the Cast, uh, Jesse Lawrence, Carrie Green and Paul Williams. Yes! <laughs> Um, Jesse, let's start with you. Um, how do you create a musical out of advertising jingles? I mean, <laughs> well, what? I mean, Dean Hewison, the, the writer of the show, yeah. came up with it. He said that the musicals got stuck in his head for most of his life, and yeah. so he had to put it into something. So I guess essentially he's taken a quite a stereotypical musical story of small town girl goes to the big city and then found all these wonderful <laughs> ways to chuck in Kiwi jingles. So. so it is an actual proper story as well? Oh, yeah, it's a proper story, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. so can you tell me a bit more about the play, please, Carrie? So, I mean, you know, how does it work? Is it just... So it's your, your typical story of, like, the small town girl goes to the big city. Yeah. Yep. Actually, TV3 makes a big feature in the show. Oh, so, good. Yeah, yeah. Th it's all set at a TV3 studio. Oh, yeah. that's convenient. And a small yeah. farming community called Rainbow's End. Oh, <laughs> so, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, Paul, let me get this straight. So all of the jingles that are in there, you don't change the words to fit your musical. No. They're just in there. Yeah, no, not at all. The lyrics are all the same. And, like, the odd ones, like, kind of crowbarred in. But um, <laughs> most of them work really well. And yeah. so, so, uh, so, so you, there must be loads of money in the show then because of all the sponsorship deals you guys have got. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> After that, all lawsuits about to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, out. OK, well, let's talk characters then. What about, um, Carrie, what do you play? Um, so I play a bit of everything, so I'm that kind of roving person that just pops up randomly. Okay. My favourite character, yes. yeah, bus driver. Um, my favourite character is playing um, the news anchor called Coca Cola, who's like a sexier version of Mike McRoberts. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. Yeah, okay. in the nineties. Is it possible to be sexier than Mike McRoberts? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. And Jesse, what about you? Um, I play the small town girl that comes to the big city, Bella wow. McDonald. Yeah, okay. she's on the journey with her little backpack. Oh, cool. Nice. White eyed and innocent. Oh, you betcha. And mm. um, what about you, Paul? I play a couple of roles. I play the main girl's dad, yes. the farmer, and I play kind of the main, I think of him kind of like a heart, bit of a heartthrob kind of guy. Oh, mm. you, you're kind of a big deal? Yeah, yeah but uh, no, nah, nah, he's, nah, not, he's not. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> He, sli he, sli he sweeps the floors. Oh, he cleans okay. the floors at that guy. So you guys are newbies to this, but you've done it before in Wellington. Yeah, we did a season two years ago for the New Zealand Fringe Festival. I need yeah. a bit of I need a bit of assistance with some jingle work. Can you do some? I think we need some jingle singing. Yeah, I'd love to. I just want to hear a few. Like you've done a couple with Holly, but just do a couple so we can hear what you know. Um. What have you got? And it's tux. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that tux one of it? Tux keeps him full of life. Yeah. Fit as a fiddle, sharp as a knife. Tux keeps him full of life. Lean and green and overdrive. Oh, oh, see, oh that's good. And you would find that the audience probably starts singing along as well, because these, these jingles are ingrained in or their the, heads. Yeah. Well, they see the first line, they forget the right. rest of it. Yeah. 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 Okay, and, and what, what other jingles have we got? You know, I don't, don't want to give away too much of the show. Yeah. But uh, obviously the storyline lends itself to some fantastic jingles. Yeah. I know they've probably written you know, the story around some yeah. of the jingles, mm -hmm. but obviously it fits quite well. But what else oh, have we got? Yeah, what yeah. classic New Zealand icons have we got? Do you remember like, when um, TV3 first started up, they had that big musical intro? Oh, like, yes. Um, with what, is it Welcome to the I... Feeling, Only yeah, On yeah, 3? Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes a feature <laughs> in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Only, Only On 3, TV3. Oh, great. Yeah. And probably. Products wise, we've you know, is that what are some of the big ones? What about Gerard Roofs? Does that make it in? That's one of my favourites. No, no, no. We've oh. got Tip Top. Yes. We've McDonald's. Got Mc, we've got oh. A couple McDonald's. of McDonald's ones. Right. A couple yeah. of McMackers. Tax, obviously. We mm. Tax. Yeah. Um, so good, so good, sanitarium, so good. Have you heard from anybody from these companies who's got an issue with it or think <laughs> no. it's amazing? But I think, you know, we've sent out an invite to, you know, some of the people who perform them and stuff yeah, to come yeah. and... Walk down memory Imagine lane. You've got Annie Crummer on stage with you doing that the TV3 cool. one. I think she'd oh. probably be more horrified by our singing than anything because <laughs> some of the songs that we do, she actually features on. Yes, on them. quite heavily. Yeah. So, so what's your thing? Is it singing? Because your, your background is musical theatre? Yep. Is that it right? Is. So, you're, so you are the singer. Are you guys the singers as well, or are you sort of the acting they're singers? They're the better singers, to be honest. <laughs> um, no, don't say that. <laughs> um. Oh, I know. I've seen, yeah, I've seen you with your little thing. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 
<laughs> That's all right, Paul. Keyboard. I think Keyboard. it's quite a good size, <laughs> you know. Um, no, on the oh, on the John Owen Ben. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I have to stop talking right now, shall I? <laughs> so, but is it just you three? So you carry the whole weight of the show. That's a lot of singing, mm. and uh, you and know, there's a lot of dancing as well. Right. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Imagine the TV three with a whole choreographed number. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I tell you what. As soon as I heard what this musical was about, just jingles in general from New Zealand, I was sold yes. um, because it just sounds fun. Yeah, um, great is. story by the sounds of it as well, and three incredibly talented, humble, down-to-earth people doing yeah. the show. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, and Paul's like now breathing a sigh of relief because he's going, "Don't make me dance. Don't yeah, make me dance." He's, you know, he said, "You don't make me dance in this. We're not going to make you dance." Mm. Um, thank you so much all for coming in. Cool. Sounds good. Thank thank you. Guys. Jingles the musical plays at the Basement Theatre from tonight until June 17th. For ticket details, head along to their website.